Hey guys, welcome to Bowties and Ballistics. I'm Gavin. And I'm Blake. Today we're going to be reviewing the Stevens Model 555 chambered in 20 gauge. Uh, this model has a 26 inch barrel, as you can see, of course, an over and under shotgun. Right, <clears throat> it'll take two and three quarters and three inch shells, and <clears throat> right here on the tank safety is where you can switch from the over barrel or the under barrel shooting first. So, originally, I got this gun for a high school trap team gun, and I shot it for one year. I really didn't like the recoil on it, so I switched to a 12 gauge, which suited me a lot better for that. But uh, this gun would be a really good field gun if you're out walking all day long hunting, because it's only five and a half pounds, so you're really good in that aspect. Yeah, I mean, it's got a nice checkered finish here. Um, you know, got a little bit of a raised rib here. I, uh, you know, it has the one BB sight here. This gun is totally factory. It does come with this pretty good looking <clears throat> butt pad here, but unfortunately it doesn't really help that much. No, that is correct. Of course, this gun is already empty as we know. Made in Turkey, by the way. But yeah, very light, uh, very basic over and under shotgun. Mm -hmm. That's Today, a fact. we will be shooting uh, Winchester Super Target 20 gauge. Uh, it's about just basically a target load. So yeah. today we'll be using this Allen clay thrower to throw some blackout white flyers. And we'll also be shooting a nice jug. Now, of course, when preparing to shoot, you're gonna want your, to get yourself some eye protection and hearing protection as well. So that way you have a uh, hearing later in life. You know, that is handy. Yep. And uh, yeah, so we're All ready right. to go. See how she shoots. Safety off. Bolt. You want a double? Yep. Sounds good. Try for some doubles. Bolt. How's the recoil on that? Shoots pretty good. You can feel it. <laughs> Better than you remember, baby? Maybe a little bit better, actually, yeah. Boom! Didn't quite get on that one. Yeah. Having a little trouble ejecting the top barrel. Interesting. Yeah, I'll do a single and I'll let you shoot her. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Nice. All right. On safety. There you go. Thank you. All right. Just made one. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to do doubles. Okay. Ooh. I missed that one a little bit too. All right, one more doubles. Sounds good. Pull. So yeah, guys, uh, something I'd definitely say about this shotgun is if you mount really like low, like I do, to try to see, uh, this thing really does come up into your cheek pretty good. Mm -hmm. and that's the only thing that I'd say that I really dislike about it. I mean, other than that, the recoil is not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but I do think after like a full day of shooting, that would get old pretty fast. But 50 rounds catches up to you, yeah. But yeah. What we did here is but, pretty neat. Yeah, just the way I mount on this thing, it seems like I'm you know, getting really low on my cheek and that really... Yeah, it seems to hit my cheek a little bit harder than I would like, but I don't know. Maybe if the, you know, 
course empty again. But you know, maybe if this rib was a little bit higher, you know, uh -huh. I think it might be easier. But I'd say so. Other than that, not bad. Uh, do we know what these are going for? I think around four hundred, probably. I mean, guess. for that, it wouldn't I be. I bought it like four and a half years ago, so yeah, it might so have went up a little yeah. bit since then. But. Yeah, given the current situation. Right. But yeah, um, I'd say for that, it's a pretty good value. I mean, pretty good field gun after, oh, maybe 20 or a box of shells a hunt, you wouldn't be feeling too bad. Yeah, I mean, sure. really, no. If you were carrying this thing, I mean, it just. Real light. It's real, real nice light. To carry. It's got a pretty good balance as well. I mean, I'd say that's another positive of this gun. For 400 bucks, it's a good field gun for. Now, if it's like pretty good budget gun, if you had to pay like six hundred dollars, I'd say you're looking at something a little maybe look at something quality. else. But yeah, other than that, a good gun. Yep. Well, guys. Thanks for watching our review video on the Stevens Model 555 chambered in 20 gauge.